Hi Randy. Hi Steph. Hi Cindy. Just give me a minute to get the volume off my iPad. This won't be for the faint hearted eye. I'm going to get down and get messy. Hi Beverly. Hi Monica. Is anyone up for some mess? Inky messy fun. I have had, I didn't, I wouldn't say I had a stressful day, but the last hour at work was a bit stressful and it's left me with extremely loud tinnitus. So the way I relax is to make a mess. So I'm going to bring in my, um, kind of, I've had, I've laminated a, a sheet here so that I can be messy on on wednesday morning i was um i had a couple of my team ladies round just to do a wee bit of crafting and a bit of training and we ended up getting a bit messy we were playing with um inks and the honeybee set i had in mind that i was trying to make something that looked a bit like runny honey for a background hi esther janice is on to make a mess so I've got some bits and pieces that I did with the ladies. It was just experiment time. I'll put that out of the way for another day. But um, I just thought, I know I did a while ago, I did um, ink pads with alcohol and with water and we kind of experiment. I've never revisited that. I know that I didn't make cards up, but do you know what? That time has kind of passed. So... I like this effect that I got and I think that was with alcohol. So what I've got is I've got some, because good news for our uh, U Europe people, re-inkers are coming back into stock. They seem to have solved the customs issue. So I thought that is a good time to start playing with them. I already had these. So I'm going to put this lot aside so that I don't miss because I might need to show you stamping on these in a wee while because it depends whether these dry or not. I do have my heat tool around somewhere. I will have to crawl under my bed to get it, but it is around. So I've cut myself a stack of very vanilla. Very vanilla because I've got loads of it, the thick one, and it won't matter if it's wasted. So basically what I did was, I can do this in lots of different ways, but what I did was put some drops of re-inker on here. Hi Anne-Marie. So I'm, d I'm not, as I say, this pure experimental and I won't even remember what colours are what. This is Daffodil Delight. I'm trying not to be too heavy handed and I've got, I'm sure I got crushed curry, yeah. So let's have a look what the two yellows look like when we're... It's lovely to have you all in tonight. Now I've got two spritzers here. I've put washi tape round one to denote that that is surgical spirit in there. And I've got a spare bottle to top it up with. And this one, this plain spritzer has just got water and now the, these are stamping up spritzers. I know there's other brands available but this has got a really fine mist and I really like it. And I've used all kinds but I'm kind of wanting to go for the alcohol because it dries quicker. So I'm just going to spritz this lot. And let it spread a bit. I might not have put enough on, but who knows? So I'm just going to well, let me know if you can't see, but just letting it run about the place a bit. Can't take too long with this because the alcohol will evaporate. Just let that run a bit. And then I'm going to take my card. I'm going to try and kind of make it straight. I'm not good at straight, but we'll try. To just make a strip down my card. And just let that soak in. As I say, you can work with this fairly soon because 
the alcohol evaporates off. The, the bees are gorgeous, aren't they, in the paper? I just was trying to just do something maybe a wee bit different. Now, I know that I've got this squint and I'll end up trimming it off. It's actually, that's okay. So just get, it's just running. We'll just do some and we'll put them aside to dry and see what happens. So let's go in with mango mail. Oh, thanks, Randy. You're a gem. You really are. Going in with Mango Melody this time and I'm being a wee bit more heavy handed. The thing is each one is different and then because I've cut it to card layer size it'll be easy then to just go in and individually make up some cards. I don't even tell you what I've got here. Pumpkin pie. So this should be more of an orangey. And I'll maybe put just a bit more ink on and see what happens alcohol but we'll try some with water just to show you the difference but I won't be, I'll have to leave water to dry overnight really this is so therapeutic just watching it spread it's just like <laughs> it's just relaxing I'm just letting it sort of move around and then we'll take I like the gaps between as well because then I can stamp my bees and they'll be more visible right let's try and get this straighter Janice I'm using the lines on my grid but if I get that straight there maybe then she lets it slip just want to put it down let it all soak in It is hypnotising, isn't it? And do you know what? I really appreciate you guys coming on because I really was feeling quite wretched. I tried to eat my dinner and I dropped my dinner down the front of me. Just, went, just sometimes it's just so difficult and I was getting upset and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to go to my craft desk and I'm going to play. And I just thought you guys would like to join me. Sometimes it's nice just to watch something. Wow, I like that do like that what do you think Ooh. right so what did I like I don't know which colors I like maybe the I'm going to put this time mango in fact you know will I have a splodge of them all all these yellowy orangey things hi Shirley of course it looks familiar <laughs> Hey, have you, have you made things with all your inky fun from Wednesday? Lady Shirley is one of the ladies that was, um, she's in my team and she was getting inky with me. She just got herself in there and got on with it. This is just plain, very vanilla cardstock. Well, I'm keen to see what you made, Shirley. I hope you're going to check. Will you share? If you share on the Jazzle Dazzle and Friends page so that the ladies that are in here, most of the ladies in here are on that so they'll be able to get to see. I'm talking, I haven't a clue what I'm doing here, but does it matter? No. So that was Mango Melody. Did I already do Daffodil Delight? I don't think so. Cause that... No, I didn't. Right, getting really messy here. Thank you, Shirley. Right, this calls for some alcohol here. It was either play with some alcohol or drink some tonight, so I decided playing was probably the safer option. Get let it run a bit. Right, another piece of card. Let's see what happens. And then I'll do I'll do three with water just to let you see those who are not familiar with this process what the difference is. Of course you can do this on our shimmery white paper. You can do it on 
watercolour paper. We have fantastic watercolour paper. Oh, I've got two pieces here. Ah. Oh, look, it even came through. Whoa. That's me. <laughs> Thanks, Esther. Yeah, Jazzle Dazzle and friends. I'm glad you guys are here to keep me right. You're all welcome in my Facebook group. And my Facebook group is actually to share any crafts, whatever. It really is a sharing page. We've got people who paint, we've got photographers. That I'm sure there's more to come out, you know, crocheters. Um, there's a lady that does journaling and beautiful ink work. It's worth having a look. Look how that's separating. There's a bit of pink coming out of one of those yellows. That's, do you know, that's... I think I'll just, I don't know. No, I'm just going to leave it. Right. Oh, mess, mess, Janice. That's what we're... This time I'll try with water, shall I? And let you see the difference. Hopefully these three alcohol ones will dry off quite quickly and we'll be able to make... I think when you come to do with um, water, you don't need quite as much ink, but I'm just going to give it a few splodges here. I want to see what the crushed curry comes up like. Is this crushed curry? Yeah. So just, you know, for anyone who's new, re-inkers are not just for re-inking. You have so much fun with them. I've got another technique to show another day when I get my act together. Right, this time I'm just going to spray this with water. Are you ready? Yeah, I've got blues and purples. It's just because I was working with um, the bees. So I'll do these and then we can play with some other colours. I've got loads of them. I've got, in fact, I've got nearly every colour in the re-inkers now. Oh, wow, that's delicious, isn't it? Probably made it far too wet. Right. I actually quite like doing it with water, so if you just watch. Can't see it can't soak in through. Well, Randy, we haven't been able to order many in uh, the UK and Europe because there was a customs issue and uh, they had prob Stampin' Up had problems with the um the labelling and the safety, so they've had to work with customs to get them all relabeled. So I think that's that soaked in, are you ready? Do you know the back looks good? I hope the front looks good. Oh, wow. Who likes that one? Isn't that it? gorgeous? I need to get a washing line for them pegs to peg them up. Right, so do you want, will we try some colours again then? I really, really like that, I do. But that's going to take a wee while to dry, although we could, we could try the, what do you call it, the heat tool on it later. I'll pop it somewhere else. My alcohol ones are drying quite fine, I'll be able to stamp on them quite soon. So who wants to, you want me to try? Do you know what, Esther, I'm just a big child. I can do... In fact, I've got the biggest block. It's quite good. We can do a full. Got that as well. Right. So, what colours? Randy, you were first to ask about colours. What did you see? Da 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 da. You did see. Have I got. 
blues, purples, greens. Okay, let's have a look. We've got these and these. So we've got, what about Granny Apple and Gorgeous Grape? We're getting that out. Gorgeous Grape. Some nice strong colours. Pacific Point. I'm happy to play as long as you're happy to watch. Any other colour suggestions or will we go with this and see where, it, where we go? I'll, do, I'll keep the colours handy. Right. I highly recommend you get him. Um, a lam get someone to laminate you some full A3 sheets and then you've got a nice surface. Yes, I am, Ruth, I'm aware of murkiness. In fact, I'm not putting that one in. Kind of keep them separate. Oh, I'll try and remember Ruth's lessons. Right, okay. Well, purple, blue, green, they're all cold colours. Where's my colour wheel? Oh, I don't know where it is right now. I had it last night. I was playing with it last night. Kind of cleared a lot of things out of the way just now so I don't get in a mess. Hi, Christine. And hi, Ruth. <laughs> forgotten what I've done. Did I put purple anywhere? Yeah. I've, I'm completely forgetting what I've done. And no, you did. You came in the back door, Ruth, quietly. Yeah. Just like my daughter, just come in and start telling me what I should be careful with. <laughs> You're quite right, though. You are right. What season are you on, Ruth? I do like Grey's Anatomy. Oh, I don't know whether to... I don't know what... Whether to put up, well, I'll put Pacific Point in here. It's another strong colour. We could end up with, I think, maybe something that would be useful for very moody, stormy skies. That's what I've got. So, are we going water or alcohol? What do you want? We'll do alcohol on that one, water on that one. Yeah, we'll do alcohol here. Oh, oh just... Alcohol on both. The colours are just so vibrant. I'm not going to rush them anywhere. I actually quite like the spotty look. Let that one just develop a wee bit right alcohol you're all in for it's friday night of course alcohol's the shout is it okay just look how it just slowly spreads <gasps> oh sprinkles would react yeah I hear yeah Ruth I could try that if I had um, what have I got uh, I've not got toothpick but I have sharp tweezers Ooh. look this is good could do 
problem with this is like the leave it at that this one maybe I need to do this get paper on this maybe I'll give it another wee quick squish because it's going to dry quickly alcohol and sprinkles what do you think the sprinkles are on my desk I can have a go I don't have watercolour paper but I've got loads of well I have somewhere but I don't know where don't want to bore you all well like let's just see what happens here okay I came on to do a few squirts and then make a card. <laughs> card making's not going to happen now. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the blue coming out of the purple. Uh -huh. Okay, let just letting it soak in. But if you leave it too long, it'll stick to the blocks with alcohol. What do you think? Smells good. Oh yeah, you could do a bit more of this sort of stuff like Ruth suggested to twirl them but because it the alcohol was evaporating it maybe didn't do it as well as oh did you Esther did you try it with sprinkles well have a wee go well I'll just just do it on the block with one and see what happens I'm in a mess now so do you know a bit more mess I was after some orange to go with my bees, so let's see. All right, Esther. I didn't see that. I can't think I saw that. Oh, look at this. Don't even need to open it. There's that much mess on the top of it. Oh, I've not had these out for a long time. They are messy, but then we're in a mess already anyway. Oh, we get the yellow one. Oh, it's all right. I obviously hadn't shut the orange the, properly, the melo mango melody. This could be overkill, but you know. A comb. Mm. Probably not, Esther, you know. But hey, the ladies want to see and they'll save us going raking. Da -da -da -da. Oh well, let's see what happens. Could, of course, you could do it straight on the paper. We're running out of alcohol here. Not, you're right, it's not that great, is it? So I'll just sugar some more in. We'll do, I'll show you what sprinkles do with water, but in a minute, they usually work, they mix better with water, I think. Esther was right. It's the only way to find out, though. Well, look, see, they work better with. So really, what you can do, if you use your block, you can put the sprinkles on and put some water and then you can use it as normal water paint. Or then you could, do you know, you can swirl this about a bit more. This has got alcohol and water, so it doesn't know what the heck it's doing here. But we'll just soak it up anyway and it can be used for some kind of background. Have you not used sprinkles, Randy? 
I can certainly show you sprinkles on the paper. They, they're more fun on, yes, they are the Stampin' Up sprinkles. I've got the brand name ones too. What do you think of my hands? They look better than some of the paper does. That's actually cool. I like that. Right, well, okay, I I honestly don't know where my watercolour paper is at the moment, but let's get a piece of, a full piece of card on here and show Randy what happens with sprinkles. Seeing as we're being messy tonight. Do you know what, though? I feel so much better already. Right. So Randy, the Stampin' Up sprinkles come in six of our colours. Um, we've got Daffodil Delight, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, Granny Apple Green, Bermuda Bay and Gorgeous Grape. So do you know what, just to let you see, this will probably be unusable, but I'm going to put a little bit of each one on the paper. And then, so basically it's like a wee salt shaker thing. Probably it could do with less. Some people cover up some of these holes. I've not quite worked that out yet, but so I've got some purple on here. Bermuda Bay. It does work great on watercolour paper because you can really soak it. Oh well, that decided to spire itself out, the Bermuda Bay. If you're interested, you can try and remember where I put the colours. Here's the interesting thing. Granny Apple Green is actually orange coloured powder. Look at that. And that will become Granny Apple Green. Melon Mambo. A bit of this somewhere. This is purely for experimental reasons and just for demonstration. I really need to open the mango melody it's coming out. Does anybody else trip over the names of Melon Mambo and Mango Melody? Let's put this one. So I've put far too much on. You wouldn't put this much on reality. So if I've got, oh, I've not got much water in here. I think I'll give this a wee fill. I do have some water. I did bring water through with me. Let's fill this up. Now it, it depends on what you use to mist with. You know, if you use a heavy hand, a heavy mister, or an uneven mister. Whoops. These, these are. These give a very fine mist. You could play about with other. Hi Sharon, welcome to Playgroup, I think. <laughs> Esther, yeah. Mango Mam <laughs> Mango Mamba. <laughs> right, are you ready for this? If you're of a nervous position, you might want to shut your eyes now. Oh, Steph, you rest. 
I did used to be a nursery nurse, so this and a childminder, so kids play is my thing. There you go. You can make something with that, Randy, do you think? I like the speckled effects. You might want, you could soak it and then merge the colours together. I absolutely like it. It is magic, Christine, you're right. So, we did, so we've learned something that alcohol doesn't really work with it. Yeah, they're in the they're in the annual catalogue, surely. Yeah, you do need them because you you really are quite artistic. And you quite like inky fun. Not everyone does. Some some of my ladies are completely freaked out when I start doing this stuff. They can't cope. They run for aprons and gloves and things. It is messy. I did warn you. I did. I don't. Did I say messy play? I meant messy play. I, do you know what? I do mean what I say. So I'm going to have to put that, I don't know where, to dry. Does that help, Randy, for you to understand what's going to go on with them and what they might be able to do for you? If you um, if you do them on water paper, colour paper, well, just for instance, let's try a puddle of water here. If You, you can really, really wet... Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea, <laughs> Hester. <laughs> right, I'm putting a puddle of water here, just at this bit, and then I can... Well, if I knew where I put them, I would. So, in a stronger colour so that you can see. If I pop them into the puddle... You see them instantly moving. Oh, Ruth's project. Very good. So see, you can move it about now. Yeah, you can. You can make a really abstract. I have done this on canvas before sprinkles. It was the other ones. What are they called? We had them for a wee while, but they didn't really match our stamping up colours. So you see now that this is just on normal card. Can you see the fun you could have on watercolour paper? And also on canvas. It's great fun on a canvas. When we had the unicorns, um, my granddaughter and I made a big canvas and she loved doing the sprinkles and it made a fantastic unicorn brain. Okay, so you want to do... Yeah, there is a kind of... Well, yeah, it's melon mambo, but it does kind of look a bit orangey. But sometimes it... Sometimes it's pink, but I guess if you put some yellow in there, you might be able to make it more orangey pop poppies rather than pinky. Anyway, anything else you want me to splodge it or will I go and try and make some, dry off some of these? And try? I wanted to show you how I got some honeycomb on. I need to dry that off. I don't know where the other bits are that we did on Wednesday. Let me have a quick look. Yeah. I don't know where they are. I had the ladies and I did a few A4 sheets as well. Right, so will we Yeah, get a canvas out. Bring your canvas down here and have a play if you want, Shirley. You know that's not an issue. Right, so go put that over to dry. Going to put the messy mat away. We'll get the heat gun out. Do that. Got water all over the floor as well. 
I did like this one, so I'm going to see if I can give this one a bit of a dry off. I hope I'm not hurting anyone's ears with this. Just turn your volume down if you need to. No way. Maybe Fly decided to land on us. This is the one that we did with water. I really like the effect on this. I feel the need to make a finished product though, Randy. <laughs> This one's nice, isn't it? I'm not bothered if I'm not totally dry, even just dry enough to stamp on. And then I can mount them later when they're properly dry. Yeah, once you're mounting them onto cards, you have to be quite firm with them. Yes, that's true, Tristan, you can sprinkle over because the sprinkles are essentially like a watercolour pig pigment. Your embossing is water resistant. Not quite sure about this, but I'll see something in it eventually. I won't be able to deny these, look, my handprints are on them. I was going to show you the wee trick I did with my dyes as well on the open stuff. Put these up. Might use that, you never know. Oh, on that, the, the colourful one, surely. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I think they'll be dry enough to stamp on. And I've got this one as well. They're not great. Right, let's put them out of the way. I'm actually starting to like my cloths. What do you think? That's becoming quite artistic too, isn't it? Right, so I wanted to show you why my block was in a mess. I started to tell some of you yesterday why this was all icky sticky. So in this beautiful detail bees dye, there is this honeycomb dye. And what I did was, because there's not a honeycomb stamp, and I wanted to just get a faint idea of a honeycomb this is probably not recommended but it's um what do you call it snail why do i always keep trying to call snail mouse i don't really i don't know why i keep doing that that one is bone dry because i did that on wednesday i'm going to use that for something else 
some embossing I think but these ones are maybe not dry enough to emboss on so let's try yes it's a microfiber cloth yep so just stuck the dye onto my block and I'm just going to use it to stamp a bit with yeah you're probably right it does look more like a mouse than a snail doesn't it And then I find myself at work and I'm like trying to move my mouse on my computer and I say things like, my, my snail's stuck. They'll think I'm bonkers. Right, so I'm carefully inking up this die and hopefully this will work. It doesn't look like it is. With is. I'm using it with, um, well, I'm getting plenty on the block. That's what I was about to say. You do have to be a wee bit careful because, because the die is so thin that you, you'll get ink on the block but I just wanted to give a kind of impression of honeycomb you see it's quite faint of course Janice managed to get a blotch there but we'll put a bee there anyway and then another little bit coming down there so it's not too strong apart from my blobby bit but we'll sort that so that that's that and then just get the lovely bee stamps out got two sizes of bees here yeah you've, you've made a bonkers friend in here Esther so I'm going to put the big bee on here and let's get the little bee out and we'll get a little block where did I put my box for blocks I just had a sort of idea in my head and do you know I had to deal with it so so this is bees on a honeycomb really so I'm going to sort of try and make sure that goes over my blobby bit <laughs> didn't quite but never mind it's do you know it's enough to distract <laughs> how you're so loyal Shirley <laughs> no no idea of composition here. I'm just blonking, blonking some bees because I think, you know, when bees start swarming, they just go for it. Going to leave a bit there, and of course, I've done a line, so we'll just have another bee piggyback in there. I don't know if we've got room for a wee sentiment, and then we'll just trim this down and we'll have a card. And I'm okay with that, are you? Look at the state of me. Oh, what have we got? What sentiments have we got? Thinking of you, sweet friend. Right. That'll do. And I find a block for it to go on. Is it going on there? Yeah, it will. Hi Monica, didn't see you earlier. Just messing, honestly. Just to gently just pop this here. Thinking of you, sweet friend. And I've got some very vanilla card blanks were they're very vanilla before I start to touching them anyway oh sorry Monica I did miss that hello hello come in I was too busy making a mess so basically I'm going to layer this up onto this card but just to give it a wee bit of definition it is going to be a bit bumpy I don't know whether I would rather 
trim it down and then layer it onto a piece of card. And have I got any? Be too much to hope that I've got a piece of early espresso ready. Oh, I've got some though. Yeah, I think if I manage to stick this on, it'll go faster, flatter, faster, flatter, whatever. Right, so, who ate my trimmer? I was just to give you an idea of where I was heading with all my daft idea. Right, so, I'm just going to trim this down. I'm going to take, it was at 10.1, I'm going to take this to 9.7. I'll take a wee bit off the top and just straight 14. Sorry B, I just cut a bit off your wing. Hope you're okay with that. I'll just go straight down this because I might need this another layer. This was a card blank but it's not going to be now. Because I didn't think this all completely through, I didn't. That's why I've not got everything out ready. I'll put this to 14.4 and this trimmer. I'm going to tell you how fabulous it is. Let's hope it doesn't let me down. Look at that. Two sheets cut through. And because it is a bit wrinkled, I think it is quite dry, but I'm going to... Am I looking for my mouse or my snail, Esther? I'm just going to put a fair bit on to, just to keep this quite flat. I'm going to put a couple down the middle as well just to try. Try and make it do what it's supposed to do. But of course then it's harder to line up and get straight because of so much on it. That's not bad. That'll do. I won't need so much. It just if you do mount the wobbly paper onto another piece of card it does give you a slightly more professional finish. See if we can, that's probably better that way. That wasn't too bad. So there we go. There we have it. Some bees around the honeycomb. I was thinking that you could emboss on this as well and use, I would use the black, you could use brown early espresso, you could use that and you could put clear embossing powder on with the colour to get a brown one or you could have a black bee. So I wonder, I think, hmm might be all right i don't know where's my embossing buddy shall we try both embossing buddy esther remember you commenting on my tub for my embossing buddy it's an old boots body butter tub <laughs> look so Emboss and buddy all over. And I've got scrap paper somewhere. Did have. I don't know where it's gone though. We'll get it in a minute. Right, and then I need to clean this stamp off though because if I try. Well, it won't matter, will it? Because I'm going to do black. And I will show you 
um, how to do coloured embossing with your clear embossing too. Let's do this one first. Where's the Bursa mark? Come here. Sharon, it's not for everybody, but you can watch. I understand that not everyone can deal with messy. But honestly, you know, it's worth a try. Right, so, just get some Bersa mark on here and I'm going to pop in there. Oh, forgot to put some honeycomb on here. I did want some. Let me just get some here. Where's, where's that wee stamp? My mum absolutely adores honeycomb, so I might make her one of these cards. I often take her a piece of comb honey because she loves it so much. There we go, I'll just leave it at that one wee bit just to give the just an impression and fire up the imagination. Didn't clean that um early espresso too well, I thought I had, but never mind. One there. One here. Another one on the comb now that one's got a kind of that way. We'll see what happens. Lid on your Versa mark or you'll get powder all over it. Ask me how I know that. Right, so we're going to do black and I need a piece of scrap paper. letter it'll do. I've not answered it but hey. Right, black. Black bees. If the ink is still wet on the honeycomb piece, this might stick to that but I'm not worried if you're not. I'm going to flick it because I think that the powder has stuck to some bits that don't want it and also it's too thick on the wings. I want the wings to look like wings, not like big black blobs. looking okay so I'll just pop that over there and put the powder away and I'll do one more after this to show you doing it in the colour with the clear embossing powder just in case anyone's not sure how that happens do you know what I think my um, black embossing powders got mixed up with my shimmer embossing powder I wonder if someone's put his there's the shimmer, but this seems to have a shimmer in it too. Okay, so let's just... It's going to give it another wee... Over the bin, right? If you're ready, I am going to put my heat tool on, so if you have sensitive hearing, please turn your volume down. Hi, Tracy. i do one more after this and then I'm going to get off and give you a piece.
think that needs a bit more work on it actually I don't know if I might do a bit of uh, blending over. I'm not sure because I don't want to lose this lovely speckled effect maybe want a few more bees in there I'll have a look at that one later I'm not ready to make that into a card yet now this I need to give it another I think it's dry enough just to show you an embossed bee I'm just about to drop a hundred things here back you go right i'm gonna give this another wee dry i think it's nearly dry it's not bad this is one where the back is just as nice as the front You know, if you were doing this yourself at home, you would probably leave these overnight. You would play and do a session, leave them overnight and come back to look at the ruin my pad is everything here. Right, so which side is switch then? I want I think I want it come just as if it's running there. Um I mean, you can die cut the honeycomb out, you could get that effect, but I'm just gonna just do a wee bit like what I did earlier, and then I'll just show you how the embossing works. And if this is good enough to be a card, it'll be a card, if not, well, it does remain an experiment. I think I've got these lumps of glue. I think it's got too messy and that's why I'm getting me blobs but I'll just carefully put my bees on those bits. If you're really clever you can make it look like a continuous piece. Not really. It was only just to give a bit of extra texture in the background and I'm really messing it up but never mind. So yeah, I'm wanting it to be coming down that way like it's running. And then I'm going to rub it with this. So what you do is you clean your stamp properly. another microfiber cloth because you don't know where you just put that one right one dry stamp one I've used my buddy I've lost my buddy there you go there's my buddy right and so I need to think about this where's my Versamark so you're going to go into the Versamark and then into no I'm not I'm going into the am I going <laughs> Well, I need the Versamark to be on the top, so I need to go into the Versamark first. Plant it Versamark and then onto my colour of ink. I bet you've all given up on me, I've gone bonkers here. And then clean it off again. You have to repeatedly clean it off because what you don't want is get your Versamark too dirty. I used to keep an old Versamark pad and this probably on this one I'll probably get a new one. I don't know where my old one is um, for doing this sort of work. So Versamark first, colour next. to work fairly quickly. I'll just do one more maybe on camera for you guys. Where's the mark? I 
and the color. Yeah, you're right. But that's but when you cut it out, it's not quite as fine as it is with this. Just using the edgy line, you're right. There's so many things you can do. So we'll leave it at that. Just the three, just um, really just for demonstration purposes. Red scrap paper and my clear embossing powder. I need. So where is clear? Because I got it out. Because I've kind of had that in mind, right? Clear stamping emboss powder. Let's hope there's enough for this to work. good with it's clear it doesn't really matter if it strays a bit it just gives your whole picture a bit of a, a gloss just leave that aside till I put the powder away problem is I've stupidly used the same piece of paper that I had my black powder on and I'm not going to sh demand that that all comes off because Right, so they look dull now because they've got clear embossing powder on them. Let's shine them up. I haven't tried embossing the honeycomb yet. But you can try that, Esther. Pick this up because I don't want to ruin my pad altogether, but I want you to see what's happening. So there you have it, some zany backgrounds, Can you? See? I don't know how well that shows on camera, but these are definitely embossed and they do show up better or differently to that. I mean these are fine but So that's that, there's the card I've made and I have more to show you, it's just like, yay. I did that one the other day there. So I need to put a bit more detail and maybe sponge the bees a little bit and bring their t tummy colour up a wee bit. These are some of the other effects I tried when I was playing that one that was done with water but that was done with an ink pad just stamping the ink pad onto the block and the, uh, squeezing water and letting it these ones were done just with the aqua painter I'm not so happy with that and that one was just a play so it's not really anything as such so you know I've ended up with a few things that are usable but the all these effects that we did earlier look at the mess of me like there's your heat embossed in black so I, I will sponge them up a wee bit bring them up a bit I need a sentiment on it I need a bit more texture in there um, that was just one that bled through when we did the alcohol that came through both cards That one's not quite sure. I mean, it could be all sorts of things, you know, we can go along. These could be a sky, could be, you could stamp, like Shirley said, you could stamp flowers over the top. The, that one in particular can maybe stamp flowers over. Not quite sure that could end up being, I don't know. I need to have a think about these. And this one I absolutely adore, but I haven't decided what I'm going to do with. 
So I've got loads to play with. But ladies, I'm going to go off just now. I actually need a cup of coffee. And now I can go and speak to my husband in a more civilised way. I just couldn't speak earlier because I cut myself so stressed. And when you turn, if anyone else suffers from tinnitus, they'll know that when it gets loud, it just like takes over. I, by crafting and sharing with you ladies, I have calmed down loads. So, do you know, if, whatever I think crafting is therapy for everything, I almost feel civilised again. So... That one card out of all that play and one pair of messy hands. Thank you so much for sticking with me, ladies. Hopefully, um, if you're watching on replay, call up the hit the button for live chat because otherwise you won't know who you know who I've been why I've been saying what I've been saying. I've been talking to the ladies that have come in while I'm live. If you like this type of video, let me know. Please subscribe if you haven't already and please hit the bell icon so that you'll get notified when I'm doing some more. Totally appreciate everyone who subscribes and everyone who watches. Thank you so much. See you soon. Don't think I can work out. The switch off with the third party app I use it just takes a bit longer let's see anyway thank you everyone thank you